how to configure BGP weight attribute. I actually already um, already created a video about this in the past, but I thought I would do it again. And I think that I have a simpler topology. Um, yeah, so weight is this weight attribute is a Cisco defined attribute or Cisco proprietary and this by the way I got from this link uh, this is from the Cisco website this attribute uses weight to select the best path um, yeah the weight is assigned locally to the router the value only makes sense to the specific router the value is not propagated or carried through any of the route updates. A weight can be a number from 0 to 65,535. A patch that the router originates have a weight of 32,768 by default, and other paths have a default of 0. And we can, an sorry, we can actually verify this by checking this topology here. Yeah, I have, let me just uh, clear that screen. So here I have R2 and R3 in uh, AS2 and I have R1. So uh, R2 and R3 are both advertising these prefixes, these prefixes. So let me, let me check, or let us check R2 and check its BGP table. So you can see here, um, when you see the next hop, uh, all zeros, it means that the router is originating that route. And it's choosing that route, uh, of course, because <clears throat> uh, it's the router who, the local router that originated it. And you can see here that the weight is 32768. That's what we have in our notes. Pads that are that the router originates have a weight of that value, which is correct. And other pads have a weight of zero, which this is our neighbor by the way. This is R3. So that's why it's got a weight of zero. Okay. Alright, so in this uh, video, I'm just going to have to do, I will just have to do two options. There are other options, but I think that this is the simpler options uh, that we can uh, perform. Uh, I think you can, you can actually uh, use a uh, access, access ASPath filter or ASPath access list and <clears throat> uh, filter. But uh, you can actually check it by using, uh, check it out by using this uh, website. But going back to the configuration, because I want to focus on the configuration. Um, so let me just check the BGP configurations on all the routers. So let me, as you can see here, uh, R1 is just appearing with both R2 and R3. Uh, we are not advertising any routes uh, into them. Um, but oops, from R2, it, uh, it advertises uh, these prefixes. And it's got uh, ABGP appearing with R1 and IBGP appearing with R3. This is R1, this is R3. And going to, I mean, checking R3, it, it is also advertising both routes or same the same routes into um, the BGP, into BGP, and it's got a peering uh, IP, no, it's got a IBGP peering with R2, and R2, and it's got a EBGP peering with R1. Okay, and we can also, of course, check the 
the BGP table on all the routers. So you can see here, yeah, I, I already showed this uh, earlier. And same scenario, basically. So R3 is originating this route. That's why it's got a, it's choosing the, this route itself. And it's got a weight of the default value, which is what we discussed here. And of course, from other paths, it's got a weight of zero. I want to go to R1 because I want to uh, show you that by default, at least in this case, R1 is choosing this link uh, or R3 as its next hop to get to uh, both prefixes. So this prefix and this prefix. You can see it by looking at this symbol here. So, <clears throat> so yeah, that's how you can check which route or which path the router is choosing. Okay, so I'm going to actually uh, influence the, the traffic. So I'm going to create a, I mean, I'm going to choose this link here instead of this one. So we can do that by assigning a higher weight uh, because weight is all zeros by default. So I'm going to do it by just doing this command. I'm gonna just copy and paste. Oops. Uh, hold on, that's not correct. Let me do it again. Correct, incorrect IP address, by the way. <clears throat> so now let's check if R1 is choosing R2 as its next hop to get to the prefixes. Yeah, it's now choosing uh, R2 to get to this route and to get to this route, okay? Uh, there's another way that you can do it or another option, which is here, uh, our option two. And this is what you would do if you want to uh, match uh, specific prefixes. So I'm going to just uh, remove the config that I did here because I want to perform this. So I'm just um, uh, matching this prefix, that prefix, and then I'm going to create a route map and just uh, match that prefix and set its weight to 100 and apply that prefix uh, to R2. Let's see what happens. I'm going to also clear the BGP session. You can just do it by doing a soft so it's not going to tear down the connection. The BGP peering, by the way. So BGP peering has been up for about 30, 30 minutes now. So let's check the BGP table. So now um, we are choosing this route to get to, or this next hop to get to this route because of the uh, route map that we applied to uh, uh, R2, this one. Okay, so yeah, that's how you can influence your outbound traffic. So in this case, we were able to basically choose this route for this uh, to get to this uh, prefix instead of the default uh, uh, default. Uh, uh, path between, I mean, which is R1 and the path between R1 and R3. So that's all I want to show in this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.